it forewarning that for this part, uh, mm -hmm. the first thing that you're going to see, you are going to need uh, to get the fellow desktop app. If you haven't gotten the fellow desktop app, please do get it now. You can get to it by clicking on your profile, going to user settings. And when you go into user settings, you should see a section called integrations and go and download the fellow desktop app. Yep, so, we created an action item right there for you to remember. Now that you, you have that in place, let's talk about uh, you know, the first of the things that we're gonna talk about. One of the jobs to be done you know, for fellow has always been, we want to help you make sure that you, you show up to your, your meetings on time. Uh, no, nobody likes it if you don't show up to a meeting on time. And so just now, I don't know if you saw that, but we just got a notification from Fellow. And it says that our Fellow 4.0 launch is starting in less than one minute. So we did start our broadcast here a little bit early. And now we're getting this notification that says for us to join. So first of all, I'm just going to, you know, pause for a second so that we can admire how beautiful this notification <laughs> is. It is yeah. one of the nicest notifications I've ever seen. And it's Big so shout out useful. to our product and design team at Fellow. They're just amazing at what they do. We do have the best designers uh, on the planet and this is beautiful. So one of the things that's hard about getting to a meeting on time is you're kind of doing other things. And all of a sudden you have to, oh my God, I have to go into this meeting. Where's the link? Is it a Zoom meeting? Is it an MS Teams meeting? What is it? And where's Fellow? How can I open up Fellow and make sure I go to the right notes for the right meeting? And it's just a lot of work, right? Uh, so this notification helps solve that problem. The notification in itself is beautiful and amazing, part of the desktop app. And you know, if you don't remember, the desktop app actually does a bunch more than that too has this beautiful display, shows you all your meetings, all your action items, all accessible there. Uh, so you should definitely get the desktop app for not just what I'm about to show you. But when I press join, you're going to see something that we're very excited about. We're calling it companion mode. Let's press join and see what happens. So when I click join, you get to see that all of a sudden my screen changes and I go from the, that, the desktop app that I had, which was taking up my full screen to the new companion mode that just goes to the side of my screen and minimizes beautifully, gets rid of any other clutter that's not related to the meeting. And you can see the title companion mode right there. And it's beautiful. It's awesome. It took me to exactly the note that I wanted. So if I was busy doing other things, I click one button to join my Zoom meeting button. It opens up my Zoom uh, meeting to the right meeting. It opens up my fellow notes to the right notes. And it just nicely tucks itself into the corner of my screen to make it the most seamless meeting experience yet. That's amazing. And, and it updated live as I was typing it as a talking point. So very impressive to see uh, how this will improve the meeting experience for everyone, especially having your screen and your meeting agenda side by side. It is, uh, it's a thing that people have been doing, right? They've been making their meeting screens smaller and making fellow, but there's just so many clicks, so many things that you have to do. And at fellow, we're all about increasing delight, reducing friction, making everything seamless and delightful. And I think companion mode does exactly that. It just beautifully shows up on the right-hand side of your page. And no matter what, you, what meeting type you're using, Zoom, uh, Google Meet, MS Teams, it fellow works nicely with all of those, uh, all of those tools. And it's very easy to, to exit companion mode. So whenever you're ready, and you're done with your meeting, we call this the, the fellow in meeting experience, right? So when you're in a meeting, we wanna remove all the things that don't need to be there, focus your attention on the meeting. And when you're done with the meeting, you can just press exit companion mode and you go back into uh, your, your full screen view or whatever you know, your desktop app looked like right before that. So very, very easy uh, to do that. And one of the questions that you might have is, that looks amazing. Yes, it does. What if you wanted to enter companion mode? It's really nice that we can enter companion mode with this beautiful desktop notification that shows up. But what if you wanted to enter a companion mode at another time? 
Uh, so we've made it easy for you to do that. And so if you click on the triple uh, dot menu, the kebab menu here, you'll be able to go to open companion mode. And when you do that, you're going to pop back into companion mode, fellow minimizes, shows you the, the information for that meeting. And when you're done, you can just press exit companion mode again. This is really fun. I'm going to do it one more time because it just, <laughs> it just, I love the animation, how seamless it is. It's I wish so I could seamless, get the notification. It, it feels like magic. Like suddenly you click uh, on one link and you have your meeting agenda and everything you need for your meeting right there. It's very impressive. And for those of you who attend lots of meetings and have those days where you have like back-to-back -back meetings, you won't be rushing to find that Zoom link, that Google Meet link. It's all right there in that beautiful notification. This is so nice for a number of reasons. You know, for anyone who uses Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, when you're in your car, the, the experience of using your phone changes. So when you're using Fellow and you're in a meeting, we have our new in-meeting experience, and that is powered by companion mode. So companion mode is here. It's awesome. It will change the way that you meet. Very excited for, for everybody to have it. It's something that we've been working very hard on. And, and I don't have the notification open anymore, but one of the nice things that you might ask is, well, what if I'm not using Zoom or Google Meet or any of these tools? I'm, I'm just, it's, it's an in-person meeting. We have an in-person meeting. What do we do then? The beautiful thing is because Fellow is tied into your calendar, you'll still get the notification. And what the notification will allow you to do is open up the notes for that meeting. Because even if it's an in-person meeting, I mean, you don't want to run any meeting without an agenda. You don't want to run any meeting without tracking action items. So companion mode will still help you bring the right meeting information right then and there when you need it. Oh, and even for your in-person meetings, I'm already picturing us projecting our, our agenda on the screen like we do sometimes when we meet in person. And the nice thing about companion mode is that let's say you have a presentation or some projects that you're, let's say a design that you're presenting to the team, you can have those designs and the meeting agenda projected on the screen side by side. So. It has so many use cases. I can't wait to hear what everyone else uses companion mode for. 